Here comes the next one. All right, now what I'd like to do is show you guys how to find the root solution of zeros, x-intercept of a quadratic function, now given when we don't have a constant term. Um, so if I look up here, I have my, I have my first term, where a is 1, my b is negative 8, and however, I don't have a c. So when I'm looking at a problem, the first thing I always want to do is factor. What can I factor out? And I notice both of these terms have an x, so I'm going to factor on an x. When factor on an x, I'm left with x times x minus 8 equals 0. So I took an x out because they both shared an x. Now I use the zero product property, means that you take each term and you set it equal to 0. Now I just solve for x. This one's very easy to solve for x. I know that x is going to equal 0. And here I just need to add an 8 to both sides. x equals 8. So when kind of talking about your answers, if you were to graph this, this graph would cross at and when x equals 8, and the graph also comes when x equals 0. So that's how you find the root solutions. 0 is x-intercept of a quadratic function.